Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Silver Ridge Peaks and we are going to be testing out the Cacciatore shotgun. This is not a gun that is just for ducks and bunnies. Took three there. Let's see if I can't get this guy as well. Got a shot into him, but I did get him. Jeez, that was all right. Yeah, the catchatory shotgun is not just for ducks and bunnies. Let me tell you, that was pretty sweet. So I do have slugs in here right now. And I guess I did blow out the zone, but that's all right. Look at the stack of pronghorn. Double lung, 84.4, not a bad one. Double lung as well. Pretty nice penetration, so that was from 76 meters, 76.45. And we managed to take quite a few down before, before they even spooked. Why have I not been using this gun for bigger animals, you know? That was a pretty sweet little shot. Managed to uh, sneak one into the left lung there from 130.46 meters and that guy is a dark 80.9. So yeah, the Cacciatore with the slugs. This is a lot of fun. We are gonna hunt for everything in Silver Ridge Peaks with the Cacciatore shotgun, not just turkeys. Oh. We're not going to be hunting for Plains Bison because they are class 9 and the Cacciatore only goes up to class 8. But everything else, everything else, let's do it. Let's go hunt for everything with the shotgun. Okay guys, so we're here in the store. And if you go down to shotguns, your very first shotgun is going to be the Cacciatore 12 gauge. And it says here, powerful at close range, making it the perfect weapon for those who think they've got stocking down to a fine art. So the accuracy for the Cacciatore is 33, reload speed is only 29, recoil is 82, and hip shot is 88. And if you are purchasing it for the first time, it is $48,000. Now the Cacciatore is not a DLC weapon, you just simply have to unlock it by using your base shotgun getting enough shotgun XP and unlocking it. And you're also going to need a scope. We have here the Meridian 1 4x20 shotgun scope. Now this scope, if you do not already own it, is $12,000. It has a magnification of one to four, and you are gonna need it if you are going to be using the Cacciatore or any shotgun with the slugs for those larger animals from longer distances, you're gonna need the scope. Okay, so here we are in ammo. So we have the 12 gauge bird shot. So ignore the effective range. That is not working right now. So I know when you're using bird shot, the maximum you can zero up to is 75 meters. So your distances are 25, 50, and 75. So the expansion, no expansion, zero, no penetration, class one. This is a whole bunch of pellets coming out at your target. So then we have 12 gauge buckshot. Expansion is zero, penetration is now five. So you have a whole bunch of pellets, not quite as many as when you have birdshot and this is for classes two to five. So basically I would use the buckshot for classes two and three because you have slugs for four to eight. So with the slugs, they zero in 50, 100 and 150 meters. This is the ammo you want to use for longer distance shooting. So these ones have an expansion of 19, a penetration of 40, and are good for classes 4 to 8. So I carry all three on me. So between the three, you're good for all of the classes except for class 9. So the slugs are $880, buckshot is $530, and this is for 10 by the way. And the birdshot is only $180. Ah, 
And that was good. That was good. Good stuff. All right. Takes a second for the health to start dropping, but that was a vital shot. Should have been, yeah. And that was a perfect right lung shot. Not a huge amount of penetration, but does the trick just fine, and that's 117 meters. Okay guys, so we're actually sneaking up on a herd of pronghorn, and we're actually gonna try out the 12 gauge buckshot. Now the nice thing with pronghorn is you can actually use birdshot or you can use slugs with them. Yeah, so here, the buckshot is good for class two to five and the slugs are four to eight. So you're doubling up on classes four and five. So you can use either and they are class four. Pronghorns are class four. So you can use either ammo to reload there. I unloaded the entire barrel. <laughs> okay, I think they're a little too far now. Guys are already gone. Jeez! That was pretty sweet. I should be using this gun way more often. That was pretty fun. Seven hits. We got left lung, humerus, thoracic spinal cord, and vertebrae. But that uh, was a good shot. Just one, and that'll do the trick. And that is also a vital shot. Lower neck. <laughs> okay, so that that one pellet hit there and that was uh, an, a leftover pellet from shooting one of the other ones and then we got a few more in and took that guy down. <laughs> that guy's very, very dead. So I guess at first that was no good. We did manage to get left lung there. So that was also a good shot. 31 meters! We'll try the slugs out. I think we got him. I think it just takes a second. Maybe? I definitely need to pick him up and find out what happened there. Let's see. May have led that one too much. Yeah. Kind of looks that way. All right, that's okay. It sure is handy to have six shots. That's all I'm saying. Perfect left long shot from 105 meters, and that's with the slugs. So there you go. So it... It takes a minute for them to drop in health. They don't drop right away. It doesn't mean that you didn't get the shot. We just have to be patient. Did I get this guy too? I did. <laughs> I did. And I, I just thought that I didn't. So there you go. Good to know. So far, I am really enjoying the Cacciatore. This is not just a gun for ducks and bunnies. It certainly is not. Okay, guys, we're right in front of... Oh, they're alarmed, they're alarmed. Hold on here. Can't even see what's there. I got one. Yeah, he knows we're here. Here we go. Oh, we got a hard shot there. that three again. Well, I got a shot into him, whether it's vital, hard to say. Ah, oh, this guy's not bad at all, and that was a neck shot. Well, yeah, we severed his neck, that'll do it. That was a good shot. 
And that was the first guy, so that was a right lung shot. So you're not getting a huge amount of penetration, but you're, ne you're never gonna get a double lung with the slug. Like, that's only 43 meters away, and that's all the penetration. So there's not a huge amount, but it does the trick. It takes them a while to die. Oh, we got quite a few of them. We did pretty good there. 52 meters with the slugs. Left lung, liver, and stomach. Again, not a lot of penetration, but does do the job. <laughs> we've done a, we've made a little bit of hunting pressure here, just a bit. He's alarmed. All right, here we go. It's showtime. Where'd he go? No! Zeroed wrong. And now we have to wait to reload. Load. <laughs> reload. All right, so level one female, 16 hits. Now you gotta remember with turkeys, guys, you don't need a vital. You can't ruin the trophy. You can hit them anywhere and they have a huge hitbox. So that is a level two male. Not even a gold? Have I ever shot a turkey that's male that is not a gold? I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't. We managed four there. And that one, even though not a lot of pellets, it doesn't matter how many hits, it matters how many times you put the hit in. So like, I can only t put two in, and then if any hits go in from a third shot, then I am going to downgrade my my metal with the third shot, right? Because you can only take two shots. The hits within that shot don't matter. If you catch my drift, I hope you do. We would have blown that zone out had we not been in a tripod, but uh, we barely made any hunting pressure, which was pretty awesome. Okay guys, so I decided to come back here to Leighton because Geese aren't working and we have some whitetail here, so I quickly threw slugs in here. I have to say, I have never farmed with a shotgun for whitetail. Ever. Well, that should be three. I guess if you're going to, you just gotta get a little bit closer. But that worked just fine. Now I wouldn't, I don't think I would normally farm for whitetail with the Cacciatore because you do need those long range shots, but the slugs work just fine and we got a vital shot there. Oh, perfect. That's the problem with the slugs is distance. It is tough to get those long range, those further shots. Anything further than 150 meters is tough. At least it has been for me. now. Of course, I don't have a whole lot of practice. I generally use shotguns for ducks and bunnies, and I'd like to get out of that habit. I really would. It's just a lot more fun to mix up your guns and, you know, hunt with different rifles and shotguns. Mix it up. It's just a lot more fun. All right, here comes our bear. This two. Too high. Did we get a shot into him? Yes, we did. We did. It's just having the right ammo in at the right time. You just gotta be ready to swap your ammo real quick. And we did get a right lung there. 104 meters, 104.38 with the slugs. So you're good for, you're good for everything in Leighton with the Cacciatore. I'm trying to think about this here. Everything! You can hunt for absolutely everything on the map with the Cacciatore in Leighton Lakes. Just gotta have the right ammo. Okay guys, so we have just snuck up on a bunch of mallards. Okay, we do have birdshot in, so here we go. all the deer coming out. We did get a bunch of them. 
And then by the time it reloads, you're not going to get any more after that, but I think we did all right. 50 meters, 49.25. And that's all you need. One pellet is all you need. And that's all we got. 67.19 <laughs> meters. That's a pretty good distance with the Cacciatore. With any shotgun. 76.44. And that guy's a 16.8. He's not terrible. Yeah, all those one pellet took him down and that's all we needed. And we did blow out that zone, but it'll come right back. It's just a lot more fun to hunt for for ducks with the shotgun, and the Cacciatore is the best one you're gonna get. Okay guys, so we're in the lodge here, and I've just put up the Cacciatore 12 gauge on the wall. So it says here that the chrome barreled 12 gauge pump action shotgun with its classic walnut stock and forearm can be used for almost any species. Just make sure you've got the right ammo for the job. Powerful at close range, making it the perfect weapon for those who think they've got stocking down to a fine art. <laughs> it says I've, I've missed 654 shots. Yeah, well. <laughs> Record kill, 900 Puma with the 12 gauge Cacciatore. Look at that, that's neat. I didn't even realize it gives you your stats for that weapon. So overall, I would say that the Cacciatore, what makes it better than all of the rest is just the fact that it has six shots. The fact that you don't have to stop and reload, that is the deciding factor. That's what makes it so much better than the rest. But, you know, take the Cacciatore out. It is not just for ducks and bunnies. You know, you can use it on fallow deer and whitetail and everything else. Not just for these guys. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you'd like to join us for more, that would be amazing. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.